He's finally here! Hello everyone, welcome to the Watchtower, and today, Poison Ivy Maquette by Tweeterhead is finally invading the Watchtower. It has been such a long wait for her, um, over a year. Um, she's been having an adventure all her own in China, um, but she is finally here, um, and I'm excited to get her in and unbox her and put her together and review her and put her in my collection. This is a piece I've been really, really looking forward to, my first Poison Ivy piece. Um, so yeah, so she's, uh, this is a big moment, really, really excited to get this in. And this is the first piece in Tweeterhead's new direction, and they're kind of Tweeterhead 2.0, so I'm excited to get her out of the box and everything and look at her and see how she, uh, how she stacks up compared to the old stuff and then how we're going to get what the new stuff's going to look like. So, uh, yeah, so I'm really excited to get her, in. I'm really excited to get into this. Um, like I said before, uh, you know, she's had a little bit of an adventure because she's been ready, she's been done for several months but she's just been sitting in a warehouse in china um because they couldn't get a shipping container to ship her over here um because you know with how everything is there's a shipping container shortage and everything and then and then she was waiting you know uh after she finally shipped she was waiting off the coast of california for a little bit um but she's finally here she's finally in the collection and i'm looking forward to her um yeah, so we're going to go over the box real quick, and then we're going to go ahead and jump in, and we're going to uh, look at, open the foam up, look at the figure inside, and then uh, uh, we're going to put it together. So th this is the box, and this is part of their new new direction as well. So as you can see, it doesn't say superpowers on it. It just says green ivy, it says poison ivy maquette, tweeter head with the green, green poison ivy in the back, the side, more of that ivy, the back, ivy again, side... Ivy, top, Poison Ivy Maquette, bottom, barcode and stuff, nothing really. So yeah, the box, so different from the from the old boxes where it says superpowers and everything, that kind of like black and red and gold box. So very different here. Um, kind of simple. I like it, you know, not really collecting for the box, but box is nice. Uh, let's, uh, let's look at the figure. All right, everyone, so we have the foam up here right now. Let's go ahead and open the foam, take a look at the figure inside before we assemble it. All right, so there she is out of the box, um, and already she's looking outstanding. So we got right there, we got the exclusive item, which is Frank the Potted Plant. Got uh, one of the vines right there with the, uh, like the human fly trap on it. The base with her throne. Look at her, look at Ivy right there. She looks awesome. Can't wait to put her together. So there she is, and there's another vine with the uh, with the man-eating plant on it. So there she is. Let's go ahead and get her assembled now. All right, everyone. So we have her up here, out of, out of the box. We've already taken a look inside the phone. We kind of see what it looks like. Let's get her assembled now, all right? So we're going to start with the base right here. We got this big... Big plant thrown here. This big piece of plant coming out. Uh, really cool right there. Uh, that plant base that she's going to sit on as she, you know, surveys her kingdom. Uh, really cool with it coming out of the, like, the concrete there. Or the uh, black top. She just, like, you know, takes her rightful place as Queen of Gotham. Uh, this is the EX. The EX had an addition side of 250. Um, so that's the bottom of the base right there. And I had number 232 of 250. So there's the base. Um, I always wonder how that works with the addition size. Um, uh, the numbering, like, is it, do you get it, um, like, as you order, is that your number for the addition size? Or is it just random? Because I, I don't know, I like that's a high number of 250. Uh, if I remember right, I, I ordered like right when it went up. I know it was sold out pretty quickly, but I feel like it would, would have been a lower number than that. But the addition number doesn't really matter to me. It's going to go, 
it's on the bottom of the base. I'm going to set it somewhere. I'm going to forget what the edition number is. So, it, it is what it is. But, it's always curious to me. So, there's that. There's the plant base. Looking really, really cool. I like what they do with that plant base. Really nicely done. So, there's that. Let's, uh... Let's put... Let's put Ivy on here. Wow. Look at her. She is looking... She's looking awesome. So there is... She looks really delicate, too. I'm worried that she's going to break, but I think she's fine. So there is Ivy looking really, really cool. She's looking... My goodness, the face... The, geez, the paint on the face. I mean, the paint on the whole body. Um, it's looking really good. And all the little... like All the Ivy that's painted and everything. She's impressive um and then they don't have a peg that's, i was wondering if they're gonna if they're gonna put like a notch a hole in their butt uh like for a peg or whatever but it's just a magnet there's a magnet here there's a magnet on the base so she's just gonna magnetize in right there so she magnetizes in right there and i think uh i think she magnetizes on her it felt like she magnetized on the back of her hair too there was a magnet as well back here felt like that as well um, but yeah, she's she's not going anywhere. She's real sturdy in there, so don't have to worry about that. But there she is in the base, looking good, looking good. And then we have this this little piece of plant right here that goes. There's a little key spot, little magnet right here in the back, and it just goes right in there like that, in that magnet. So there is that middle one right there, her little, her headrest, if you will. And then we have the two um, vines with the uh, man-eating uh, traps on them. So those, we'll do this one first because this one definitely looks like it goes in. All right, so there's that one, and it is, that's some perfect engineering right there, because it's about almost touching her finger, almost. It is very, very close. So very nicely done right there with that, because it's like, like she's giving her a little pet under the chin. Very cool right there. So got that in. It's probably almost better when you assemble this, if you put this one in first, before you put her on, um, I had to kind of take her off and put this one in because I was really worried about hitting those hands. So it's probably better if you slide this one in first. You don't have to worry about hitting her hand or anything. So slide this one in first, put her on, and then slide this one in. Um, just because of how close this one is. Um, so yeah, so probably the best is to go this one, Ivy, then this one. But that's what I'm here for, to try on the other stuff so you guys don't have to. Even though at this point, pretty much everybody has already got theirs in. And I feel like, you know, I am the odd man out and that I'm the last person to get mine in. So there she is all put together, looking really, really great. And then the last thing is uh, the EX piece. And the EX is actually a proximity piece, which um, we'll see. I'm hit or miss with proximity pieces. Sometimes I just don't, I don't like the idea of them. But sometimes... Uh, they can be cool. This proximity piece is Frank the Plant uh, from uh, Harley Quinn animated series on HBO Max, voiced by JB Smooth. Uh, so this is Frank the Plant as a little proximity piece to go with her. Um, and actually, not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> that looks really well done. A little bit more like developed and everything than these these littler ones. Has the eyes coming out of the plants. Yeah. That's a cool proximity piece. Very, very well done. Really, really like that. Little proximity plant. Her uh, her Frank the plant right there. Uh, of the proximity piece. So very, very cool. Like that a lot. Like her a lot. Oh my goodness. She is looking awesome. 
absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, I don't. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna take some time and look her over. She's looking stellar. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna take some time right now, guys, and look her over, and then we will. Uh, we will be back. All right, stay tuned. All right, everyone, we are back now. I have spent some time and I've looked her over, and we're ready to jump into the review section of this. All right. Uh, usually, I start at the base and I work my way up. Um, a little different because she's kind of, you know, the base is kind of, you know, her throne. So, a little different with that. And then also, I'm actually going to start with talking about the EX item, Frank here. Frank here is pretty cool. I like this a lot. Uh, really, really uh, nicely done with Frank. You got those, you know, those long white teeth and everything uh, coming out of him. Uh, the tongue looks really good. The eyes are cool coming out of there. Got a nice gloss to them and everything. Um, yeah, like the vineage and everything on him. He looks really cool. So Frank, really nice item there. Uh, really, really like him and his little plant right there. Or his little potted plant right there. And his uh, flower bowl. I forget what these are called. Uh, I'm not a gardener. Uh, uh oh. Poison Ivy's going to get me for that. Uh, but yeah, that looks really cool. So that's a nice little proximity piece item to have uh, to display with her. So that's really cool. Um, but let's go ahead now and get into Ivy. And um, hope no one has a foot fetish uh, because there's some feet. Uh, but uh, if you do, you know, that's your own business, whatever. Um, but here she is. So we're going to kind of go around here. We're going to talk about her. She's uh, she's outstanding. If this is what Tweeterhead 2.0 is, if this is what we're, we're going to expect right now from them, sign me up. I was already a fan. I'm a bigger fan because this looks awesome. This base right here looks really, really good. The crack and everything as this as this vine comes as this vine comes out of the uh, out of the ground is twisting around and everything right here. It looks really, really good. So we're going to kind of go over the back of this real quick, and then we're going to flip around and we're going to go over the front. So, this is just outstanding. Um, just the, the vine work and everything looks really, really good. Uh, let me just get in closer real quick. So, look at all the, look at all the little striations and everything and like the vine and the veins going up the back of the plant. Looks so good. Very nicely done. The little attention is to detail. The coloring looks good. All these little things right here look almost like teeth. Um, like it's like, cause like opening up with her inside looks so, so good. I really, really like this. Again, all the striations and everything and the paint and the different colors for it and everything to break it up. It's not just all brown. There's, very, there's a lot of different shades in there. Uh, it looks very nicely done. And then the leaves. The leaves look really good as well. Again, they could not all green. Different shades of green, lighter, darker, really, you know, looks like real leaves. Very nicely done. Yeah, I know, I know show them the front a little bit. Um, but again, those leaves are looking really, really cool. Uh, they're on the back and everything. Again, how they're curving and everything. I love the color. I love the sculpt of them, the flow. It's all looking good. And... We'll point this out real quick. I love how they're all turning inwards. Everything is pointing towards her. Your all your focus is on Ivy. Everything is focusing towards her. And then we're just gonna go over her real quick. So um, she's looking good. Um, I was really worried about getting a piece that had so much skin showing. Um, how the paint was gonna look, but the paint looks really good. I mean, there is a little bit with the feet, kind of have that webbed webbed footing look. Which, you know, that's hard to that's hard to not have on a statue, especially on a smaller scale like this. But they did a, but she, they did a really nice job with the hands, not having those webbed for the most part. And we'll go over those when we when we uh, when we get up there. Uh, this this ivy looks really really good, um, really nicely painted and everything. Um, I mean, whoever was in charge of that did an outstanding job because it looks outstanding and then you know you got you see her knee and everything and really nice job with she's looking tone toned 
and the paint looks really good. Um, yeah, the paint and everything looks really good for her. So yeah, that's all looking good. Um, and then her, uh, her like ivy uh, one piece, that traditional ivy with just the one piece on, it's looking really, really good. Again, a good breakup of colors. You know, they could have just painted this all just one, like a forest green, but they didn't. There's, there's some blacks in there, there's some lighter greens, there's some darker greens. Really nicely done. Again, um, the skin color and everything looks really good. This, the ivy wrapping around her wrists and everything and her forearms and her biceps looks really well done. Um, those all look nice. And then, yeah, those hands look good. The only one, if you, you can see right there, there is a little webbing on that digit right there. Um, I mean, they probably could have sculpted that so the fingers were a little bit far apart to avoid that. Um, that would probably been better because that's kind of, that does, that's a little nitpick for me. That does kind of just like, because you got uh, one, two, three, you got three gaps right there between fingers where there's no issue. And then you got that one where there is. So that's a little, that's a little problematic for me. It's not going to kill it for me because like I said, it's going to, she's going to be like this. So you're not even going to see that for the most part, but that's a little bit of uh, just uh, irks me a little bit, but it's all, it is what it is. But again, this, this skin color and everything looks really good. And I don't know how much is showing up on the camera with the lights and everything on it, but it looks really, really good. Really, really good indeed. Um, and then we're just gonna move up and then, oh, real quick before we go move on to that, let's talk about uh, the man eating plants that are on either side of her. These look really, really go good as well. Very nicely done with these. They look so, so good. I really, really like these man eating plants. Such a nice job with those. Really nicely painted. Again, different shades of red and everything on them. They look good. Like this whole thing where it's like, okay, so there's this one up here that she's kind of, like she's kind of, um, you know, petting under the chin, tickling it or whatever. Um, that you're kind of, your eye kind of draws to first, but then this other one down here coming around beside her, that's the one you got to look out for. Cause that's the one that's going to be like, Wajum! that's the one that's going to get you right there. The, the sneaky one right down there. That's the one that's going to get you. Um, but then moving up to the face. I mean, what, what can we say? That face, it, it is absolutely stunning. The hair all of it is just so, so nice. She looks amazing. That long flowing red hair. There's so much like variation and depth to it. Very nicely sculpted with the hair and everything. I really, really think it looks really good. A lot of like really good depth and everything. And you really, the hair like really has some body to it. Sometimes it's hard. Some female statues, they scalp you. They just, it just looks like, um, it just looks weird. This, the hair looks really, really good. Um, I didn't know I was going to be talking about hair this much with this video. I thought I was going to talk about other things, um, but the hair looks great, that red hair. And then, and then her face. I mean, look at that. That is just outstanding. It looks so, so nice. Really, really nice there with the face. I mean, every, like, like the paint, those those red lips, the 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 blush or not the blush, but the the eyeshadow on her, the green eyeshadow, really just really just takes this piece to another level. It's such a nice job with this. It just really looks really really good. Really impressed with this. And there were some plain complaints with people because they felt like. Um, in the prototype, she had a little bit more of like a side eye, um, where she was kind of like like looking off to the side, kind of being more seductive. And they said like it was too much front and center now. Okay, so this is the piece front and center. She's got a little bit of that side eye still. Um, if you turn it forward, yeah. If you turn the, if you turn it and do it from a different angle, it's going to change how she's looking. But that right there. Right there is the front of the piece. So she's still got a little bit of that like looking off um, look. 
So it's not as strong as it was in the prototype, but it still looks really, really nice. And even, you know, even if you're going to turn her a little bit and show her like that, it, you know, no big difference. But anyway, that's her. Um, like I said, guys, she is looking awesome. Really, really impressed with this piece. Really impressed with Tweeterhead. Um, if this is 2.0, they're going to be getting a lot more of my business because this is fantastic. Um, I'm excited to have her into the collection. She's going to look great with the other villains. Uh, yeah, she looks great. But guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you love this piece? Do you hate it? Um, you know, what are you thinking? I think she's awesome. I'm completely thrilled with her. Um, you know, I was, I was going to say I was worried because that much skin showing and everything. I thought there was no way they're going to be able to nail that and make it look good because just that much skin showing is always an issue. But she looks great. This is, this is, you know, this is a huge, I liked Tweeterhead before. This is a huge step up from what they were doing before. And I'm excited for the future of the company. So yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you the next time I log in for Modern Duty up here in the Watchtower.